Welcome back art students. In today's lesson, we will create an ice cream cone. Ready to begin? In this lesson, you will need oil pastels or crayons, watercolor paints and a brush, and water for rinsing your brush. Okay, we are going to begin at the very top of our piece of paper. We're going to sort of build down. And I have today one, two, three, four, five different flavors. You may only have space for three or a couple. And I'm just choosing some really pretty fun colors and interesting flavors. Um, but perhaps maybe you'll choose maybe just a couple. So let's begin. Let's first find a red. And at the middle top, I'm going to draw my cherry. Now I wanna leave a little space on the top because I'm going to draw a stem just a red circle and then a little stem that will come up curve line to the side go ahead and shade in your red cherry we're making our ice cream super fancy a cherry on the top would be delicious pressing down hard Fill in all those white spaces. Okay, now we're going to add our flavors. I'm choosing pink. The first flavor we're going to add, we're going to do the top. We're going to make a curved line at the top. Up to our cherry and back down and stop. Now on the bottom, we're going to give the bottom of this flavor some drippy lines and we'll create those drippy lines by sort of wavy kind of sloppy lines so I'm going to go up and down and up and down some of my drips are a little bit shorter and some are a little bit longer and I will connect those drips connect the line there okay go ahead and shade in that flavor now this could be raspberry or cotton candy strawberry so many delicious flavors I'm doing my best to stay right in that space and I'm pressing down hard Okay, all of my pink is shaded in. I wanna shade in all those little drips so I don't leave any white spots open. This is my pink flavor. Okay, next color, I chose an orange. Could be an orange sherbet or pumpkin. So we're going to make a rounded line on each side. Okay, we're gonna leave that open again because we're going to make our drip marks. So a rounded line out and back in. On the other side, rounded line out and back in. They're kind of equal in, in length. Now, those silly little drips that come down, short and long, connecting my line. Okay, now I wanna be really careful about only shading in this space. I don't want to go into my pink flavor, so I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to carefully go around my pink so I know exactly where I want to put my color. Okay, now I'll shade that in.
do my best to shade in all of my white spots, pressing down hard. Now I'm ready to move on. If you're not ready to move on and you're still shading in this, remember you can always hit pause so you can catch up. Okay, so we've got our two different flavors. The next flavor we're going to do is purple. So what flavor could purple be? Maybe a blackberry. So again, we're going to have rounded lines on both sides, equal in length. Do your best to make them equal. So starting on this side, rounded line out and back in. On the other side, rounded line out and back in. Okay, now our drips. Bumpy little lines up and down and up, and down. Okay. I'm going to trace carefully around my orange line so my colors don't mix together. Although it is an ice cream cone and they do get drippy and mix in together, don't they? Okay, go ahead and shade in your purple flavor now. And you're finished. Okay, we have our purple flavor all shaded in. Now, I've been pressing down pretty hard and my hand is kind of tired, so if your hand is tired, just kind of shake it out a little bit. Stretch it, shake it out. Okay, now we're going to do a green flavor. I think lime would be a delicious flavor for this ice cream. So again, we're going to make those rounded lines right on the side. Remember, we want to leave a little, now we get, we're getting closer to the bottom, so we want to leave a little space. So if you're already getting pretty smushed at the bottom, maybe we'll leave off the last flavor. Okay, so I have my rounded shape on the bottom, on the side here, and my bumpy little lines. Okay, and I'm going to shade in this flavor. Maybe lime or pistachio or maybe mint chocolate chip. So many yummy flavors. Okay, all shaded in. 
And I think for this lesson today, we're going to just choose four flavors. Now, if you have space, you can add another flavor in there. I did a blue for my last flavor, but I wanna make sure that you see, and we have plenty of space to make our cone. So let's go ahead and find our brown. If you have a lot of space left and you think you can fit in another flavor or two, go ahead and add those in there. But now we're gonna make our triangle cone. All right, so finding your brown, we're going to make straight lines now, and they're going to be straight lines curved in. We are making a triangle shape. Okay, so you can find the center of your ice cream and make a little dot right in the middle towards the bottom, and then a straight line up to your ice cream. It's actually um, more of a curved line or a slanted line really, all the way up to your ice cream. And stop when you get to your ice cream. And then a line up from here. Okay, so I've made this cone a waffle cone. And to do that, I'm going to first trace that other flavor that we made, the green, and then we will make those really fun waffle lines in our waffle cone. Okay, to do that, we're gonna start at the very top of our cone, and I'm going to make slanted lines all the way across. I'm gonna do my best to make them straight. Now, when I get to the ice cream, I'm gonna stop and lift my crayon or my oil pastel. So now they're just lines. Now we're going to make that waffle design and we're gonna start at the bottom this time. So these lines, these lines were slanting up. And we're gonna slant these lines up as well. But starting at the bottom, slant your line up, up, okay. Now with that same color that you chose for your waffle cone, I'm going to gently go back and I'm going to shade in my waffle cone, but I'm pressing really light. I'm using the side and I'm pressing, I'm almost barely touching the paper. I don't want it to be too dark because I want to see the lines that I made in my cone. Okay, now for our fun background around our ice cream cone, we're going to add fun sprinkles all around. So I made mine rainbow sprinkles. And to make sprinkles, you're going to just make tiny little lines. So you can start with any color you like, but I'm going to try to add lots of fun colors in my piece going all around. I've started with the red. I'm just making small little straight lines. Okay, so I've just used my red. Now my pink. And I'm just making some lines go one way and other lines go the other way. So they're not, they just look like somebody 
just poured a bunch of sprinkles all over. Now some blue. yellow looking for any open spots you can add as many sprinkles as you like I'm spreading them out. I'm not doing too many in one spot. Okay, I think maybe I have space for one more color and I'm going to add a little green in there. I'm using some of the same colors that we used in our ice cream cone. Okay, now we are ready to paint the background with our watercolor paint. I chose purple today, and you can choose any color you like. Go ahead and wet your brush. Sometimes they're stiff and dry. Tap out any extra water if you have a lot of water in your brush. Okay. Get your color of your choice nice and wet and we're going to go all the way around our piece today if you go on to your ice cream cone that's okay remember it will just sort of run right off i'm going to shade in my whole piece purple but this is your art so if you like you can choose a different color or maybe do light to dark, purple on top and blue on the bottom, or just a cluster of a bunch of different colors. If you have puddles of water, take your paintbrush and move that water so it doesn't get too wet in one spot. Sometimes when it's too wet in one spot, we make a hole in our paper. I'm starting at the top and I'm gonna make my way down. I wanna make sure that I get all of my white spots. Sometimes I forget on the edges of my paper. I'm going around my cone today. All the way to the bottom.
think I'll be ready for an ice cream cone after this. All my hard work. Okay, it looks pretty shaded in and pretty delicious. So you can do so many fun things with this piece. You can tape several pieces of paper together to make one really long drippy ice cream cone. It's kind of fun sometimes instead of your ice cream cone straight to make it sort of slanted and it can kind of be dripping out down on the side. So whatever you like, I, I'm sure you'll come up with some really fun ideas. And there you have a delicious looking ice cream cone. Thanks for painting with me today. See you next time. Bye.